Stranger Things episode starts off with scientists in a lab doing scientisty things in a lab. Cliche. In case you confuse it with June 28, 1820, the day Colonel Robert Gibbon proved that tomatoes were not poisonous by eating one on the steps of a courthouse in Salem, New Jersey. You'd be surprised how many Colonel Robert Gibbon fans watch YouTube videos that send television shows. Choosing to stand on the laser shooting side of the faulty laser shooting lab equipment. Stealing your people getting electrocuted in slow motion scene from Black Adam. So Marty, we done the suburbs, kids on bikes, dress the main characters as Ghostbusters for one episode, terrible hair, and arcades. What else is there left of 80 cliches to mine? And please don't say, Alf, you know how I feel about that. Well, Stan, we haven't had over-the-top Russian villains yet. Genius, Marty, that's why they pay you the big bucks. We should watch Rocky IV and David Hasselhoff performing in Germany to celebrate. Also, you're literally choking that other scientist to death for asking for more time. But if you are going to give the team an additional year, why bother killing the lead scientist? That just lowers your odds of mission success. Choosing to have your logo read one year later instead of June 28th, 1985, or simply June 1985. We now have to be expected to remember what the date was you showed us almost six minutes ago, and I am not okay with that. I don't want to remember things. That's why I'm watching TV. Nobody wants to know you now. The episode expects us to believe that a teenage boy would stop making out with his girlfriend to sing Corey Hart, and I do not believe you, episode. Did you see his face? It was like a tomato. Yeah, fat tomato. You say tomato, I say unnecessary body shaming auto. Discount Uma Ethan Thurman Hawk. Passing up Back to the Future to watch Day of the Dead. And I thought I couldn't love these kids any more than I already do. See, Lucas, we made it. We missed the previews. Being upset that you missed the previews. Zero frames unite! And if you get that reference, you're in the cool club. If you didn't get that reference, you're in the even cooler club. And while I did find the kids sneaking into the glorious Day of the Dead sin removal worthy, I would also now rather be watching Day of the Dead than these kids fighting the Upside Down for the 100th time. The hell? That's weird. People not understanding what power outages are. That isn't gonna work, dingus. Oh, really? Men. The real sin is that despite being lost in the Upside Down and possessed across two seasons, Will is still in this PTSD-inducing town in season three and hasn't even considered moving away yet. Reminding me that you had Samwise f***ing Gamgee on your show and you murdered him in a single season. This is Gold Leader returning to base. Do you copy? Over. Psh, gold Leader? Really, Dusty? Someone sure has a high opinion of themselves. You're more like the Red Six of this particular squadron. At least someone's happy I'm home. Mistaking the turtle sign for who oh man, give me food for I'm so happy you're back home. Because let me tell you, turtles do not give a sh about you. Fucking turtles. Making L go through the nose bleeding just to make Dustin believe that his toys have come to life. Farrah fauceting Lucas's eyes. It's not as pleasant as it sounds. But your eyelashes will look amazing afterwards. Hey, Lord ass! No running on my watch! Parents letting a lifeguard talk to a kid like this. I don't care how lax you think the 80s were or how Cars theme song worthy you find Billy's body to be. This is some sinful bullshit. But also, kids. No wonder downtown Hawkins is being run out of business by Starcourt. They can't even afford to print a legit flyer for their Save Downtown meeting. A heart to heart? What is that? Me Hopper. Me don't understand human emotions. Me only get one character trait going on three seasons now. Discount Gary Busey. <laughs> Fellas, in six hours we go to print. I need something real. If you're six hours from deadline and don't know what's above the fold yet, you're a shitty newspaper editor. And I hereby sentence you to one week of Michael Keaton newspaper boot camp. What exactly are we looking at here? An unassembled, one-of-a-kind, battery-powered radio tower. So, it's a... A ham radio. Will would be Mr. Obvious at TV Sins. All right, he wants a scoop of chocolate. That's a buck twenty-five. Only getting one scoop of ice cream, especially at those prices. You are o four six Popeye. <laughs> Uh, Robin's such a great addition to the cast. I'd totally remove a sin for her if this board she's holding didn't mean Steve had hit on and asked out six different customers today. Don't ask out your customers. That's gross. Definitely don't do it six times. It's not baseball. You're not a pitcher getting warmed up in the bullpen. Also, Robin crossed her tally marks from right to left, which makes her a psychopath. Let me just kill Mike. I'm the chief of police. I could cover it up. Joking about using your position to cover up child murder. Are we high enough? Cerebro works best at 100 meters. Using the metric system. You're in America, Dustin. Curfew at four. They're lying. Come on, Mike. You're the dungeon master. You should know that to lie effectively, you need to dump more points into charisma. Don't make charisma your dump stat. That's what wisdom is for. Oh, 
Oh, goody. Looks like season three's Big Bad will be the Pied Piper of Hawkins. I could teach you if you like. Oh. I know all the styles. Freestyle. Butterfly. Aww. Breaststroke. Ew. Oh, so we're still on this forced adultery C plot line. Cool. Any chance we can cut to something more exciting, like maybe Ben Stein giving a six hour lecture on the evolution of bascule bridge hydraulic systems from 1893 to now? You seriously just drink the rest of our water? Well, I agree this was a dick move. The real fault lies with just bringing one canteen for six people. Each of you should have brought your own water supplies before going hiking. Emma doesn't know how to outdoors correctly. Dumping, projecting, assembling, excitement. Microwaving your leftovers instead of wrapping them in foil and putting them in the oven. Congrats on your heated casserole that'll come out somehow dried and mushy while still being cold in the center. Also, there's no chance the lasagna and peas heat up for the same amount of time. So either you'll have cold lasagna or overheated peas. We wouldn't dare play the music, but between the Corey Hartness from earlier and now Ario Speedwagon, I think it's time we send Mike and Elle for picking the worst music to make out to. I know you didn't have Portishead yet, but you had modern English. Not bothering to repair the door to your room and instead just hanging a curtain. I understand the cabin saw a lot of damage in the last season, but this is your bedroom, which is presumably a place where you are occasionally without apparel. Get a f***ing door. What I wanted to say to you. Uh-oh. I think we're in trouble. Mike survives this. You want to see a real crazy? Oh, no. Hopper, don't show him your Hellboy movie. That's cruel and unusual punishment even for an annoying brat like Mike. Josie, this is Dustin. Do you copy? Over. What's powering this ham radio? I can believe these kids hauled a battery pack up the hill, but it's now several hours later. You expect me to believe a battery pack from the 80s lasted this long? Because if you do, let me tell you about my original Game Boy and how many hours four AA batteries got me. Dustin's discount ham radio conveniently picking up Russian code words that relate directly to the Upside Down and whatever the f*** is happening in Hawkins this season is convenient. Huh. That seems like an impractical outfit for a nighttime swimming lesson. And is your makeup waterproof? I'm so very confused by this attire. Jump scares. <laughs> Waiting until season three for karma or stairs to hit Billy in the nuts. No swim. This is a no touching zone. Huh. I don't think you're gonna think it's gross when you fall in love. I'm not gonna fall in love. Okay. Dear diary, I want to kill, and you have to believe it's for more than just selfish reasons. More than just a spoke in my menstrual cycle. Can you please drive faster? I don't like driving fast and forward, and I don't like driving fast and backward. Bleep, <gasps> blop, no bra detected, wiener status half chub. Careful, these pools run deep. With all my filth is in alphabetical order. This, for example, was under H for toy. 